Kenwood Heritage Trail is a great place to learn to identify trees. And we can start with a fairly easy one. The tree in front of you here is a nice one to begin with. So why don't you get a, a leaf from the tree? You might need a tall person to help you reach up and get a leaf. If you want to, you can pause for a minute while you get a hold of a leaf to look at. And once you have a leaf, take a close look at the veins on that leaf. So leaves have veins kind of like people do. The veins in leaves, they transport food and sugars. But right now, we're just interested in looking at the arrangement of the veins. And what we say about the veins on this type of leaf is that they are arranged in a palmate way. So we say that this leaf has palmate veins. So think about that word for a minute, palmate. Where do you think that word comes from in referring to the leaves on this tree? Why do you think these leaves are called palmate? And if you want to pause to think about that for a minute, you can. So what did you come up with? Think about your hand and the way the fingers on your hand kind of all come out from the center, from your palm. That's where that comes from. If you look at the veins on those leaves, they're kind of arranged like this. Okay, they all come out from the center, kind of like the fingers on your hand. And in fact, those leaves also, if you look, they have five points that correspond to where those major veins end. Okay, and so we say that this leaf has palmate veins. Other leaves may have a type of arrangement of the veins that's like this. And in this case, we say that those leaves have pinnate veins, pinnate. Okay, so that would refer to a different type of leaf. And the word pinnate actually comes from the, a word that refers to feathers, like a bird feather. Okay, so leaves either are pinnate, like bird feathers, or the veins in the leaves may be pinnate like bird feathers, or palmate, like the palm on your hand. Next, we want to think about the arrangement of these leaves along the stem. So now you might have to take a step back and look at one of the smaller stems on the tree, and you have to decide between two different types of leaf arrangement. So the two main ways that leaves can be arranged along a stem are opposite and alternate. Okay, so if you look at a stem, and then these are the individual leaves here. Okay, so I'm not really drawing in the veins very good. Those would be the veins. This is very di diagrammatic. So that was, this would be a stem that has opposite leaves. Now on this stem, the leaves are alternate. Okay, so you see there's just one at each little node here that we, we call it a node. Okay, so it's a really terrible drawing, but I don't think it matters. So you have to look at your tree and decide, is the leaf arrangement on this tree opposite like this or alternate like this? And so stop and take a minute to decide if you want to. So did you come up with opposite leaves? Do you see that this tree has leaves that are arranged opposite each other on the stem like this? Okay. So this tree has opposite leaves. Trees like this that have opposite leaves with palmate venation are often maple trees. And there are actually a lot of different kinds of maple trees in our area and several different ones along the trail. This particular one you can tell is a Norway maple because it has a really interesting little feature. Um, in addition to having the five points on the leaf, uh, which is a, a good character. You can also break the leaf off, and you may have noticed that when you break it off, there's a little bit of whitish sap that comes out at the base of that leaf. Okay, it's a, it's a kind of a sap or a latex that this tree makes. And most maple trees don't do that. Norway maple is the only one in our area that does. Norway maple does come from Europe. It's not a native tree. It tends to be a little bit spready. It kind of is a little bit invasive. It makes lots of seedlings and tends to outcompete other plants. So in the in native forests, we're not really too happy to see Norway maple, but it's a, a very hardy tree that does really well here along the trail. Thanks for doing your tree lesson on the Kimwood Heritage Trail, and why don't you keep looking and see what other types of leaf shapes and leaf arrangements you can find.